This is Everything's Archie number 60, and it's from the Archie series and sold for 35 cents. And Archie says, Betty, your screen shields us from the wind and sand. And Betty says, and the sight of sexy bikinis. And this is from September 1977. And the inside cover has an advertisement for Hostess. Three free baseball cards. Hostess cupcakes and Twinkies. And the first story is Archie and Down Under. Sunken treasure here? Ha, huh? you gotta be kidding. Go on, laugh if you must. But I've got the chart that shows the probable location of the sunken trip. Ship. <laughs> Do you know how many people have gone bankrupt in the treasure hunting business? I have a backer. He's paying expenses plus a sizable reward if I recover the lost ship. What a dreamer. Have you any idea of the equipment that's needed to raise a sunken ship? Or even just to find it and strip it of its treasure? Millions. You'd have to dredge this harbor just to get the salvage vessels in here. Oh, well, I'll just take it one step at a time. Right now, I'll go down and have a look. See? Right here, right off the dock. Thud. Ha! Better take another look at the old chart, pal. Maybe you're right. This is a little shallow. Shucks, if you're going to sink, always sink in shallow water. Hyok, what a nut, looking for sunken treasure in, his, in hip deep water. Ah, uh, there it is, a slight error in my calculations. They were quite right. The ship is in deeper water. This is it. Wish me luck. There's a sunken ship in there? Who's he kidding? He is in deeper water, but how deep? That's only about 50 feet. Face it, that guy's a fruitcake. What you call weirdo's weirdo. He's up. Pop. It's there. I saw it. I've spotted the remains. You're kidding. He's kidding. Isn't he kidding? He's kidding. Let's see some proof. Fish down there, almost as big as the ship. Tremendous teeth. Yipe. I saw the picture. Get out of the water. Hurry. I'm going down again. No, Archie, you mustn't. We may never see you again. A man's got to do what a man's got to do. Flip. Oh, that brave boy. Do you see any blood? I'm not even looking. I loved him so. Well, so much for the fish. That's it? Those are the jaws we were worrying about? Almost as big as the ship, he said. Gulp. Uh, I mean, glub. And there she is. What? That's the sunken treasure ship? Yeah. Eight years ago, it dropped from this cabin cruiser during a wild party. It's an art object, very old, worth $80,000. There's a sizable reward for its recovery. No kidding, he's a local expert on sunken treasures. Absolutely fairness. He'll sink to any depth to make a buck. Well, as long as it's not over 15 feet. And here's an advertisement for super prizes. And here's Little Jinx Pal Fat Charlie in It's Magic. I saw this terrific magician make a tiger disappear. I've decided to become a magician. Do you have that kind of talent, Fat Charlie? Oh, I already have a trick knee. And here's Archie's gag bag. What's Pop making in the cellar? Noise. He bought a wood-turning lathe. I thought you were making me a solid mahogany four-poster bed. Well, I slipped, so now it's going to be a Victorian chair. How's a chair turning out? Last time I was down, it was an Italian candlestick. How many people own a mahogany toothpick? Mom, I'm late now. Can't I leave? Not unless your father can do it. Pop, are you kidding? He could never do it. Yes, I guess there's no sense in asking him. Now, just a darn minute. I can do anything Archie can do. Just name it and I'll show you. Dry the dishes. And here's um, an advertisement for Icy, cool, delicious, and full of fun. And there's a 10 cent off coupon, any size Icy. Offer expires December 31st, 1977. 
There's an advertisement for strong arms and for 100 little dolls. And the next story is Archie and Skateboard Bummer. Yippee! Veronica, what's that red-headed hassle up to now? Archie is practicing for an important skateboard contest, Daddy. Can he practice at his own home? Of course, silly, but we have more room here. Uh, Mr. Winfield is on the phone, sir. Excellent. Maybe he's decided to give me his million-dollar business contract. What do you say, Winfield? Will we be doing business? I'm not quite certain, Lodge. Winfield Enterprises is a youth-oriented company. We'd like to do business with a man who has young contemporary ideas. A man who can follow the major trends of the younger consumer and keep abreast of the current fats. Frankly, Lodge, we think you're too old for the job. Too old? I'll admit it. I'm a bit mature, perhaps, but certainly not old. Ha, except for the gray hair, the wrinkles, and the glasses, air barely look like a man of his er. Uh, gasp, I can't believe it. I am growing old. Heads up, Veronica. Your one and only's coming in for a landing. Ta-da! Giggle, fantastic, Archie. At this rate, you'll be sure to cinch first place. How about some milk and cookies? I mean, how's about some cookies and milk? Sounds good. Woo! Mr. Lodge, I hope my practicing hasn't been disturbing you, sir. Or no, not at all, Archie. Good. I know how these loud noises can affect someone your age. With a walking disaster like Archie around, it's a miracle I've survived to reach any age. Veronica, is something bothering your father? Yes, he's been negotiating a big contract for months. But I don't think he'll get it. Only bad luck's been heading his way these days. Flop. Zip. Exercise, that's what I need. Firm up the muscle. Get the heart pounding. Put some spring into my step. Yikes! I wanted exercises, but this is ridiculous. This is funny. I never knew Daddy enjoyed skateboarding. If this is what youth is all about, give me a rocking chair any day. Ulp. Help! Whoosh! Crash! Groan. Did anyone get the number of that truck? Congratulations, Lodge. That was some of the fanciest skateboarding I've ever seen. Winfield. I was wrong about you, sir. Anybody who can hot dog like that can easily handle the needs of our youth market. I want you personally to handle our account. I did it. A million dollar contract. Eat Veronica. Your father's accident was due to my carelessness. He probably can't think of enough ways to punish me. Archie, I just can't think of enough ways to reward you. I think that ride cracked his dome. Just be grateful he didn't crack you. And here's an advertisement for Josie's and the Pussycats in the Banana Boogie. The electronic genius Valerie turned me on to a far out way to make Alan M my boyfriend. This light MS electric lighted necklace should make, me no make him notice me instead of Josie at the Banana Boogie tonight. Alexander, your necklace is super. Everybody's looking at it. Hey, Josie, why don't all the Pussycats wear one? That's a terrific idea. Then all of us can glow in the dark during the next number. That's not exactly what I had in mind. For that electric turn on in your life, order your own. Light me pendant. Light me our 14 or lightums. Our 14 karat gold plated and come with their own batteries in a set and in a satiny pouch and here's advertisement make extra cash and the next story is archie and foul play arch for pete's sake what gives hey jug glad to see you look what i've got a duck well i didn't think it was an albatross where'd it come from a duck egg eep archie knock it off you're being a wise guy he's my friend you've got weird taste in friends arch you sound just like veronica she objects to the duck also. She doesn't know about the duck. She objects to you. So what else is new? I'm going to Ronnie's now to show her my new friend. You go in for companions with large beaks, don't you, Master Archie? Very funny, Smithers. Miss Veronica, Archie is here with a rather strange friend. Send Archie in here, Smithers. Juggy can go to the kitchen as usual. Or he has another strange friend today. 
Hi, Ron, Mr. Lodge. Look what I've got. Ooh, a darling duck. Eat gad. I will not have my home turned into a barnyard. Get that. The doctor arrives, sir. Daddy, you're ill? No, no. I'm going to be rejuvenated. The doctor bilk has a marvelous new treatment, which guarantees to return my youth. He's coming to make the years roll away. Ah, Mr. Lodge, are you ready to be made young? I ha have here the famous bilk machine. You have the there the famous Lodge check? Or yes, your first payment check. The real static relays will pulsate the nephritic globules a glob and vitalize the aging sacks of sagging slop that prune up the old. Quack. Yipe, who let her in? Who? Quack. My ex-wife, she followed me. She's determined to ruin me. Listen to her, quack. I'm not a quack, you old bat. You didn't call me a quack when I was still paying the alimony. I could have been a doctor if I'd passed the exams. Quack. Stop that. I've done pretty good, even without a license. Quack. Why, you smithers. And he throws them out. Gee, it's a nice thought, Mr. Lodge, but I don't think ducks like steak. Eat steak. He saved me a bundle. He deserves steak. Maybe the little feller would like someone to eat it for him. And here's an advertisement, all four iron-on transfers, the Fonz, Starsky and Hutch, King Kong, Charlie's Angels, free. When we want you to buy our full color 1977 merchandise and poster catalog. And here's Archie Club News and um, an order form to become an Archie Club member. And then there's a puzzle, Archie's secret thoughts. Archie has been keeping a diary to make sure no one else can read it. He has put it in code, write down the numbered letters, and you'll find out his message. There's an advertisement for a bodybuilding course. And the next story is Archie and everything you hear. Uh-oh, Archie Kins, you promised me it wouldn't rain. Wait a minute. This weatherman on the radio promised me. Listen, here's another report now. I'm not interested. Listen, Ronnie. Today's forecast is fair and sunny. Archie Andrews, do you believe everything you hear? I guess I do. Jug, don't believe everything you hear. Fair and sunny. Ow, I think I broke my foot. I believe you, Arch, even though you said not to believe everything you hear. You're a pal, Jug. I believe that. Take it easy with that foot, Arch. I'll drive. Hi, Ronnie. I think I broke my foot. You also thought it wasn't going to rain. You mean you don't believe me? Oh, it isn't that, Archikins. Wait a minute. It is that. Why are you kids arguing? You should be outside on such a lovely day. Lovely day? I thought it was still raining out. It is a lovely day out. What do you want to do, Ronnie? Why don't we go to the beach? Archie, I thought your foot was broke. No, but I am. Can you let me have three bucks for gas? And here's an order form for Joke Book Annual Digest number one. And close, please find 95 cents. And then an Archie three for one dollar checklist. Just check off the Archie series titles you like mail to your home. For the checklist below, you get three titles for only one dollar or single titles for 35 cents each. Offer expires December 31st, 1977. Here's an advertisement. Um, enjoy the best of old time radio. And then prizes are cash. And on the back, there's uh, prizes or loads of cash. Thanks for watching.